All right, guys, this is a continuation from uh, our last video with the uh, SoCon. Uh, this will be showing off the uh, MIAC this time. This time I do have a conference logo helmet. Uh, this is actually a purple mask. I don't know if you can see that very well. It looks kind of black or blue on the uh, camera, but I actually painted this purple to kind of match what the uh, conference logo is. But um, yeah, again, this is a continuation of an order that somebody had come through. Uh, these are a lot of helmets that I would actually put on the store. Um, aside from Morgan State, again, I like something a little bit more accurate, maybe add another Howard uh, option. Uh, a lot of these schools are HBCU institutions. Starting you with a school, you might have heard Bethune Cookman. I've had to paint this because uh, I did not have a yellow mask on site, and it would have taken, I think it said it would have taken through the end of March to get a San Diego Chargers or Washington Redskins. Uh, helmet so that I could use the yellow mask but that's painted um, oversized wildcat I'm investigating if you look on Google images or anything like that I'm investigating their black shell and they have kind of like almost like an argyle stripe going down the middle it's really really cool and I personally I want to I want to add to it so yep there's that one that's how we're going to kick it off next one is Delaware State just a plain white with the hornet I like that one a lot too. I like the uh, sizing on the Hornet. I think that one came out really well. I'm just trying to get everything even for y'all. Um, yeah, next, another one that you uh, might have heard. It's got some brand recognition. Howard, that's based out of uh, Washington, D.C. Beat UNLV in 2019 at UNLV's place as they were closing out Sam Boyd Stadium. Uh, good on them, first of all. And uh, UNLV needs to step it up, I feel like. So if you if you look at our uh, last couple of videos, we do have uh, uh, UNLV options for you if you purchase the Mountain West set. Again, we do have, for a majority of kind of uh, SBS level um, sets, we do have one regular set and then another set that's I call it All-American Edition. It has 16 helmets. So even though in this set there might be, let's see, this will be five. Uh, there'll be 10 sets, 10 helmets in this set. We would expand it to 16 just so that you could uh, have more of your collection, more options, more to show off on your shelf. Next is uh, Florida A&M, the Rattlers, who once briefly tried FBS level competition. Uh, did not go so well for them. And then they moved back down to uh, FCS. This is a painted green. Turned out really, really well. Um, super simple. They haven't really, they haven't really diverted from that orange shell uh, as of late. Let's see. Again, trying to do alphabetical order in my head. M becomes before N, Dave. There. Uh, next is uh, Morgan State. This is an option that I might switch up, uh, but I do like it. The orange came out really well. Um, Morgan State now wears like a navy shell, navy mask, and they just do numbers. On each side they kind of got rid of the bear but I don't blame the guy for wanting something with a little bit more character to it um, yeah Norfolk State this color took a while to get right uh, this is the same color that I use for Colorado State for those of you who have uh, seen our Mountain West set um, again taper gold stripe right down the middle Logo emerges pretty well with the shell itself. It came out really, really well, and I'm really happy with it because my old other one used to be like some god awful, ugly lawn green, and uh, I'm glad that we started using car paint for things like this. So, Norfolk State is that one. Um, we'll go North Carolina A and T. Again, navy shell, navy mask. Really simple. They are moving to the. Uh, I think it's the Big South next year, I believe, or SoCon, one of the two. Um, or in 2021, I guess that is next year, ain't it? Well, anyway, you're not going to see North Carolina A&T. There are a lot of people that are upset about that. Don't blame them. Uh, a lot of tradition here, a lot of Celebration Bowl uh, matchups are going to kind of go down the drain with that. Um, but I still believe in HBCU football is going to go on pretty strong with or without them. Uh, next is another one that has a lot of brand recognition, uh, North Carolina I believe that's Central, NCCU, yeah, out of Durham, North Carolina. This is a Navy shell. Uh, again, the same eagle on either side. 
Super simple. I like that one a lot as well. It hasn't really changed. I like this whole set. The reason why I like this whole set is because of the variety of color. If you lost, watched our last video, um, a lot of white as we're going to round out this video as well. It has a lot of white to it. But uh, yeah, next one, South Carolina State, the Bulldogs, a double white, kind of like, almost like a crimson and a blue stripe to it. And the end, need to cut that off before it needs to be sent out. But there you have it. I hope you guys get a good look at it. Uh, if you want this set for yourself, you can go and request it at pocketprolocker.com. If you don't see something on our site um, and you see like a custom, custom like, I think I have custom 6, custom 12, uh, custom 16, maybe I think I am on there. Maybe, don't quote me on that. Uh, you can message me and we can get you something, something else. Um, if you say like, I don't want six, I want seven, that's fine. We'll just create a, a new order under your name. So that's how you do that. Follow us on all our social channels as well. Forgot to say that in the last video, Pocket Pro Locker on both Facebook, uh, and Twitter. You can also subscribe to the, to the channel and you'll have, excuse me, that's a bump my shadow box there, uh, or light box rather. Subscribe to the channel. You get more videos. You'll get to see what we've got coming. Some fun things that we're doing just kind of behind the scenes. And yeah, let's uh, keep it rolling.